Drone video released by CDOT shows the extensive damage to Interstate 70. You can see rebar sticking out of the side of the westbound lanes and damage to the viaduct, which is the structure that holds the road high above the Colorado River. The power of water in a flash flood is substantial. In a steep canyon like Glenwood, floodwaters can reach a channel velocity of 30 feet per second. At that rate, the water can move a 250-ton boulder, which is equivalent to six tractor trailers fully loaded with cargo. And because water is much denser than air, flood water moving just 10 miles per hour is equal to a 270 mile per hour wind. That's stronger than a Category 5 hurricane. And you start to see, you know, the effects and the damage of it. Um, it's it's surprising. Brad Corman works at Casey Concrete in Dotsero, but he lives on the other side of the closure. He and six other workers have to take Cottonwood Pass to work each day, a rugged route that's mostly unpaved. Um, there's some narrows up there. If people have never been up there, it's real tight. Um, like two vehicles can barely pass. It might be weeks before his commute gets back to normal. Meanwhile, the dark clouds building daily bring mixed emotions. We need the moisture. Even in our winter snowstorms, we're not really getting the snowpack and the water levels. Um, it's great seeing it, but not for something like this. In Eagle County, meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News.